Hey guys, Universe Essentials here. I responded to a dining table challenge. I did that so quickly because I love the way it looks. It's so pretty, but yes, so expensive. So I'm going to try and see if I can recreate this using everyday basic items. I'll be starting off with a paint bucket. And I'm going to take off the handles before I go any further. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is extremely light and won't give me enough stability for the dining table. So I have this thick round wooden board that I got from Home Depot and that's going to be at the bottom. I wanted to use copper pipes for this project but just one costs over nine dollars and that's just gonna be too much so i had to go for something cheaper i marked them down and cut them with a pipe cutter these are the pipes that i'm going to use to hold the glass for the dining table I'm gonna need slight curves on each of the pipes that I just cut. Slight curves like this. And I achieved this using a conduit bender. I'm just gonna measure out where to start the bending and then use the conduit bender to do the rest. Now that I have my pieces bent, I'm going to be using long zip ties to hold the pieces to the bucket. This is just for now to keep the pieces in place. The next thing I'll do is drill holes around the pipe where I'm going to be using smaller zip ties to hold the pipe to the bucket. I'm going to use two on each pipe and then remove the longer zip tie. For the smaller pieces, I decided to use hula hoop. I cut them to shorter lengths and then attached them to the bucket using screws. I did this for just two and then noticed that it was bending, unlike the pipes that are straight. This was really disappointing because it takes a lot of time cutting a lot of pipes <laughs> because I'm going to need a lot of pieces to cover up the bucket. I then got more pipes, marked them down, and then cut them to different lengths. I 
I made slight curves on the pipes that were not too short. Before adding these pipes to the existing pipes that we have on the bucket, it is advisable for you to turn all the pipes facing inside. That way you don't hurt yourself. I'm going to start by attaching the shorter lengths besides the longer ones that I have on the bucket. I'm using zip ties to hold them to the bucket. Some of the zip ties were really hard to pull out, so I'll be using a plier to help me with that. Now I'm going to be attaching the other heights. I repeated the same thing all around the bucket. I'm gonna use a gold spray paint for this because I didn't use copper pipes, which I wish I did, but it was too expensive. Now I'm gonna use a nozzle holder to make it easy for me to spray paint because it's gonna be a lot of spray painting. When it was dry, I covered the bucket with a golden cake platter. I made two of this for the base of the dining table and then I used clear legs to cover up the pipes that are on top. But I would recommend that you use a hacksaw to level it before then using suction cups that's going to hold the glass. Because of the situation that's going on right now, I was not able to get glass of the size that I wanted, but I'm just going to use an acrylic sheet that I've had at home to put it at the top so you guys can see what it looks like. I put lights on the inside to see what it's going to look like, and I like it. Shorter pipes are open and that's not good, so I cover them up with gems. So that it would still look good if you're looking at it from the bottom or from the top through the glass. When I did this and then I looked at it carefully, I mean, it's so hard to actually figure out that it was made out of a bucket and conduit pipes. The cutting part is what's going to take a lot of your time, but apart from that, everything else is easy to do.
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now, I'll advise that you all take good care of yourselves during this period and we should remain prayerful and hope that this passes as soon as possible. Now, don't forget to like this video and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.